and happy New Year to everybody here. And uh, just thank you for being here tonight. We really appreciate you coming. And your presence tonight really is a testimonial to how much you truly care about Sutter County. So we're very happy to have you here. Uh, it, it seems like the election was a long time ago for me, and it, it was. It was seven months ago, but those very that, those months have gone by very very quickly. Uh, when we were celebrating on election night, uh, we had the opportunity, or I had the opportunity, to personally thank everyone who was involved in the election, who worked really hard to make it happen. And the great part was we made it happen, so it, it was a great experience. I want to say that I'm really uh, deeply indebted to my wife, Tanya. Uh, for her, really her endless devotion to our family and who's always by my side and she's always encouraging me and she's just my partner through this journey in life that we have and so I want to thank you Tanya and I love you. I also want to thank our children here, here tonight, Nathan and Jessica. They worked really hard on uh, the campaign. I just want to let both of you know they're really proud of you. So thank you for, for all of it that you do. My parents, I'm honored to have my parents here this evening. Uh, Nellie and Ramon will be here to, with us here tonight. Uh, I'm sure you probably never imagined that uh, you'd be raising a politician. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just want to say thank you, uh, Mom and Dad. Um, you know, you, you really raised me with a lot of good values, strong values. You raised me to respect and honor the country that we live in. You raised me to, to work hard. Uh, you raised me to, to never give up. Uh, you raised me to value family. And you raised me to always give back to the community. And you raised me with that strong faith in God. And I, I want to thank you for all that you've done. I, I think these two actually went to more houses than I did during the campaign. So thank you very much, Mom and Dad. I love you guys. Thank you. I also just want to recognize, since we're recognizing family, this, uh, my brother Dave and sister-in-law Becky and their kid, children, uh, Anthony and Dylan and Brandon, uh, they also worked on the campaign. So thank you guys for being here tonight. You know, walking door to door during the campaign and meeting so many people for me was just an amazing experience. It really was. It was a great privilege. I visited nearly 2,000 homes. Uh, if, if you ever want to meet your neighbors, uh, run for Southern County Supervisor. <laughs> Know a lot of people, but I just I discovered uh, that I, I discovered a lot about people uh, that really it didn't matter what their diverse uh, age was, what their economic statuses, their ethnicity, or their religion. They seem to have many of the same needs across the board. Uh, they're they're talking about good jobs, talking about good schools for their children, safe neighborhoods, and really they mentioned a lot about wanting um, honest hard-working elected officials to look out for their best interests. And many, many express the joy of living in the city with like a small town feel that we have and still have the ability to move in positive directions when we need to and when necessary that we can accommodate uh, the inevitable changes that happen in community and life. Some that I spoke to were concerned about needs for housing, for senior citizens, uh, for veterans services and veterans housing. Others wanted responsible stewards for people to be able to protect public money, making sure that we make decisions that will save the county money and that we're always mindful of the long-term effects on the county created by the decisions that are made by this board, such as county pensions and the unfunded liabilities that came up several times in the discussion. They want representatives in the county to be able to communicate effectively with one another. This came up several times. To have strong, open communication with the city, with the state, and with the federal government as well. And they talked about wanting government just to, to listen to us. They talked about listening to us, uh, listening to them express their needs to us. And they want representatives that can be that can be respected and well informed when they represent Sutter County out in the world. I see many people in this room, I know a lot of you, and you've done a lot for this community, and you really have. But I want you to know that I'm going to be asking you for more. I want you to be active 
and share your ideas and your thoughts on ways that we can improve our county. I'll be calling on you. Now many of you I've already called on, and you know who you are, but I will be calling on most of you. And I'll be asking you about important issues or issues that are important to you. And I'll be asking you to help me talk, talk to me more about those issues and then work closely with you to help resolve those issues. So be waiting for my call because it's coming. During the months after the election, I met with my colleagues here, uh, currently sit on the board. I met with many county, um, I met with county, many county department heads and other employees and also the new Auditor Controller Nathan Black about finances of the county. I met with numerous business people and residents to talk about county issues. Going forward, I'm going to be holding periodic lunches, luncheons, and town hall forums, as well as keeping you all well informed through social media channels and other channels. I believe that it's really important to keep you informed. I ran for this office because I care deeply about this community. My wife and I are in business here. Our children go to school here. I have a passion for this county. I'm looking forward to working with you to continue to make Sutter County a great place to live, work, and to raise our families. And now, it's just really time for me to roll up my sleeves and get to work. I'm looking forward to it. I do want to uh, so invite all of you tonight. Uh, Larry and I are hosting a little reception over at the Hillcrest Plaza Room or the Plaza Room after this meeting. If anyone would like to join us, please do. And again, thank you all for being here tonight.